Okay, so here's the simple lap counter I got set up. Uh, this little chip here uh, is the decoder board. It's about 40 some dollars. And your bridge sensor, which is going to be a series of these little chips mounted across the track, is what receives the signal. Now, I'm using a TV remote, remote to uh, simulate each transponder, so each number would uh, correspond to a transponder number of the car. And the program's pretty simple. Um, I don't know if you can see it on there, but uh, it's just a list of the racer numbers. The left side are the numbers of the cars, the transponder numbers, the number of laps, and then once they uh, finish their 10 laps, it'll print their place up to 10. So if I'm just to start this right now, I'll just reset it. And if I was to simulate someone passing by, so I'll just press the one key on my remote. Uh, it beeps when it sees a signal, and then it'll start counting. So you can see uh, one is actually the ID 128, and it counts one lap. You can press another button. It'll count again, and it'll fill up the uh, racers list until it gets to ten racers. And then it'll automatically count. So if I press the one again, it'll count two, so on and so forth. That's pretty much how it's going to work. Um, the board can also be interfaced. They can have uh, you can do like a light tree if you want, uh, sign boards, whatever. But it takes time to program and whatnot. But uh, for the most part, pretty cheap solution to have it working. Anyways, I'll uh, I'll try it testing it some more and I'll build the better uh, transponder system instead of using a TV remote and it should work.